finger, touch your nose, touch my finger. Dr. Martha Herbert is a pediatric neurologist at Massachusetts General Hospital. She's directing a large research study on toxic chemicals in the environment and their impact on brain development, including autism. The genes load the gun, but environment pulls the trigger. For years, scientists have believed that autism was genetically based. But Dr. Herbert believes environmental factors can either trigger or worsen the illness. She says finding those elements early in life and changing them could determine the severity of the disease. There's a system in the body called the detoxification system. Detoxication is another variant. So in detoxification, you get rid of things that you don't want, either your body's own waste products or things that get in which you really don't want to have around. It can be air pollution. It can be plastics in the food. It can be the pesticides that are in so many of our products. Dr. Herbert's research involves babies, school-age children, and adults with and without autism. She's trying to find out how the brain becomes autistic and at what point. She's been following Kenzie and Cooper, brothers who don't have autism. Like others in her study, she tests them regularly for toxic chemicals, brain imaging changes, and developmental disorders. Jamie Fanella, a research coordinator, is testing Cooper. I want you to use these blocks and make a picture that looks just like this one. My personal commitment is to test, and if it's true, then to show that the influence of chemicals on the brain is not just on development, but it's on, the whole it's on, on your whole life. Super! Dr. Herbert is not alone in looking at the environment. Dr. Larry Silver is a professor of psychiatry at Georgetown University Medical Center in Washington. He's been researching learning disabilities for more than 40 years. He says he knows enough to be concerned about toxic chemicals in the environment. We've had increasing concern that the environmental toxins may be contributing to these disabilities and also to the increase in these disabilities. In the U.S., nearly three million people have been diagnosed with autism. While in 1994, one in every 1,000 children was diagnosed with the disease, today there is one for every 110. Jeff Sell at the Autism Society says numbers around the world are similar. Genetics alone cannot explain that type of increase in prevalence. Two of Sell's four children are autistic, even though there's no family history. My boys both have high mercury levels, uh, lead, PCBs. For many years, advocates for autism patients believed the disease was caused by vaccinations, especially the measles vaccine. But several studies have found no link between vaccines and autism. Now, Cell and the Autism Society are pressing to update legislation on toxic chemicals. He says there are more than 82,000 chemicals being released into the environment, but there's good information on only 200. He says we're damaging not only the human population, but the world we live in. For producer Zulima Palacio, Milar Sega, VOA News.